Zelensky's planned speech to the Dutch House of Representatives represents a radical break with the democratic tradition that has existed for over 170 years. Never before in the history of Dutch democracy has a foreign head of state spoken in the House of Representatives. And there's a good reason for this. Democratic decision-making in the Dutch Parliament should be entirely independent, shielded from foreign influence and unhindered by foreign interests. It is well known that in war, truth is a first casualty. And in the fog of war, it is extremely difficult to distinguish propaganda from facts. In recent years, the reality behind claims, accusations and heroic stories from conflict zones has turned out to be very different from what was first thought. And of course, sometimes decisions must be made on the basis of incomplete information. However, the House of Representatives should at least strive to be a place where situations in the Netherlands and in the rest of the world are examined with restraint and detachment, and after considering both sides of the argument. That is what a parliament with a majority and an opposition is for. And in doing so, the interests of only one nation should prevail, and that is that of the Netherlands. Taking sides in a conflict on emotional grounds, on the basis of personal sympathy, or while enthralled by a moving speech, has absolutely no place in such considerations. Indeed, it is incompatible with it. It's these same arguments that have already prevented the Austrian parliament from giving Zelensky a platform. The leader of the Austrian party, the FPU, said, we wouldn't want Putin to have this opportunity either, nor any other warring party for that matter. And the Dutch parliament should take the same course. We are not a platform for unilateral declarations of support, and we certainly should not act as such in a highly complex international conflict. It is naive to see Zelensky as some sort of saint. He recently banned 11 political parties, including the country's largest opposition party. Critical TV stations have been banned in the country for some time, while the remaining stations have recently been obliged to broadcast propaganda 24 hours a day. Zelensky has refused to respect the Minsk Accords, which are part of a UN Security Council resolution, and to which the Netherlands and the EU have committed themselves. He has defended Ukraine's eight-year war against its own people in the Donbass, even though this is the immediate cause of the current conflict. He is also known to take part in dubious financial constructions as revealed by the Panama Papers. And a part of his army poses with Nazi symbols in unsavory poses. And recently, the most terrifying acts of violence towards helpless Russian prisoners of war by what are most probably Ukrainian troops have been leaked via social media. And all of this makes a virtual address by Zelensky to the Dutch parliament inappropriate, to say the least. And this is not meant to take sides in this conflict but rather to say that, as far as Forum for Democracy is concerned, the situation in Ukraine does not deserve such a simplistic approach of right versus wrong. Those who want to contribute to a lasting peace or even to a real understanding of the current and extremely regrettable situation should look at the circumstances in a more nuanced way. Pointing an accusing finger at one of the warring parties will simply further escalate the situation by idealizing one of the belligerents in a conflict in which at least three parties are involved, or going along with the war rhetoric of the moment, stands in the way of a swift and sustainable end to the violence. Then concerning the debate, Forum for Democracy does not believe that the right time for reflection is immediately after a speech by a presumably very emotional president who is involved in direct military action and who will undoubtedly claim feelings of sympathy and heightened urgency would it be possible to have a well-considered balanced discussion in the House of Representatives about the Palestinian-Israeli conflict after first showing a documentary about growing up in Gaza? It is simply not the task of a national parliament to offer a unilateral platform for the interpretation of one side of an issue or conflict, or to conduct a debate immediately afterwards while emotions run high. Forum for Democracy wishes to be quite clear about this. Even if this were a universally supported and conflict-free issue on which everyone was in agreement, such as combating child abuse, saving seals, or reducing plastic in the ocean, our party would still not be in favor of foreign heads of state addressing the Dutch House of Representatives. Our position with regard to the situation in Ukraine is well known, and has already been explained at length in various parliamentary contributions. Forum for Democracy remains in favor of a diplomatic solution in which a balanced compromise is sought in a trilateral context between Russia, Ukraine and NATO and the European Union. One that does justice to the interests of first and foremost the Ukrainians themselves 
and by this we mean all Ukrainians and not just Western Ukrainians, but also those of Russia and Europe and America. Forum for Democracy will of course take part in the debates on this subject at the next opportunity, but on Thursday the 31st of March we owe it to our democracy to remain silent.